Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm going to show you how to get rid of dust in five minutes. And I know it's such a pain to get rid of all the dust off of every little thing. You know, every little thing has dust on it. You have to move it all and wipe it off or, you know, use a dust broom, stuff like that. And all your books, every, every little book is covered with dust, you know. How are you going to get rid of all that dust? And it's really unhealthy to have a room covered with a film of dust on it. So today I'm going to show you how to get rid of all of that using a mask like this. And you want it to really seal your, your face good. And um, also, I'm going to wear eye protection. And I'm going to use this blower vac. I've got it on the blower side. So you need a blower. And then you need an air filter. So I'm going to use a 20 inch box fan. 20 by 20 box fan. With a $10 filter on it. And so I'm going to get all the dust airborne in this room. All of the dust, I'm going to blow it so it gets all airborne. And at the same time, I'm going to turn on this, this fan. I'm also going to turn on my other fan. But this one is a HEPA filter where that is not. I know that this one will collect all the dust really fast. We're going to turn both of those on high. Okay, uh, that one is more for s very small particulates. And uh, then we're gonna put this on. Like that. It's got two HEPA filters, one on each side. And then I'm gonna put on these. Like that. And I'm gonna close the door to keep everything in here. Okay, so I'm going to go sweep and then I'm going to blow it all again, just to make sure. Ah, looking good, looking good.
take my top blanket here out and shake it. So there you go. You get the gist of it. I'm going to let that uh, clean the air a little bit more and then we'll go take a look. Okay, so this room had a lot of dust everywhere, every nook and cranny. And it was all over these books and the top and stuff. And when you do this, it doesn't get the thin, thin film. There's a thin film of dust that's still left on areas like that. But it does get out 95 or more percent of the dust from everywhere. It really gets it out and gets it airborne so that the, the air filters can catch it. So if you wanted to, you could go like that on the big areas with a broom, like a handheld broom. You could kind of go like that and then you could blow it or whatever. Probably want to do this first. You can see that there's still a little bit of dust on that. But it really does get most of that dust out of there without having to clean each individual little thing, which is such a pain in the yin yang. And it moved it all out and got collected by the air filters. So there you go, you get the basic gist. Thanks for watching my videos. If you don't have one of these wooden spine rollers, <clears throat> you really need one. I use mine every single day. And sometimes I think to myself, how can people even exist without being able to massage and crack their own backs every single day? Every single person in this entire world needs one of these wooden spine rollers. And every single person in the whole world for sure needs one of these foot friend massage tools. Amazing. And these Lana rollers are fan freaking tastic. And these butt massage tools, if you sit on your butt, you need one of these rubber coated butt massage balls. It's got about 20 coats of latex rubber on it peeling a little bit, but it's got so much latex on it that it'll last for God knows how long. And um, like the Shindig massage tool, you really need one of these because whenever these are sore, nothing digs out that pain like that Shindig. The shin dig for the Terry's or the the can't remember the muscles now. <laughs> Perineal muscles and the the uh, the other one. So thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you got something out of this video. You don't need very much th many things to be able to accomplish what I just did. Some kind of a blower, like a, a wet dry vac, works really great. And uh, those box fans, fan boxes, are about twenty dollars. The filters are ten bucks. And then a couple of masks and you're good to go. So thanks for joining me. Bye. And don't forget, y'all need one of these millet hole pillows. That's the best pillow on the face of this earth.